Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, JB Tech. Today I am reviewing the brand new Dell 7370. So this is the Latitude 7370. Also goes by the name of the Latitude 13. Let's just open it up there. So, as I mentioned, this is a brand new device out. This is the class as the Ultrabook series. So it is a clamshell laptop. It isn't a, a tablet or a two-in-one. So first of all, you might notice is the screen, this infinity edge where the screen comes right out to the edge of the borders. Okay, so we as Dell call that infinity edge. And although this is actually a 12 inch device, if you measure from end to end, it actually fits a 13.3 inch screen in. So this is a 12 inch device with a 13.3 inch screen. That's pretty impressive, pretty clever technology. So from a point of view of the actual screen itself, this is a full HD, so that's 1920 by 1080, full HD. We do also provide a touch screen, which is almost 3K. It's a 3200 by 1800 on resolution. Okay, so we look at the unit itself. So from a point of view of thickness, it's 14 mil, here, and because it's a V-shape, because it tailors, it's a 9mm layer. Okay, so it's very small, very light. Um, the unit itself starts at 1.12 kilograms. This model is 1.23, I've weighed it, and that's because it's got the smart card reader built in. I'll go through the ports in a minute. It's got a smart card there, and it's also got, on the inside, contactless smart card technology, and it's also got the mobile broadband tools. Bits and pieces do, do increase the weight. Okay, so if we look actually at the ports now, so if I bring that in close, you can see what we've got here is SD card, so micro SD, headphone, USB 2, Kensington lock, nothing on the back. And what we've got here is two USB type C ports mini HDMI that is the mobile broadband card slot and as I mentioned there's a smart card reader here on this model like I said it's those some of these ports vary depending on uh, on the model and you can also get this is the aluminium finish you can also get also get a carbon fiber finish it's made from high-end materials so it's a uh, magnesium alloy and it's also got the uh, backlit keyboard as well on the front, because of the design of the Infinity Edge, you've got a full HD camera down there and the power on button is in the corner there. Now some of you might have noticed that this device has got no fans and no ports for fans either. And it's 100% silent. So <clears throat> think of this device as a tablet a high-end ultrabook tablet in a desk in a clamshell format okay so for those of you who who are out there that maybe don't doesn't like the tablet technology isn't convinced um, by a tablet prefers a clamshell in a traditional laptop and is looking for longer battery life so this thing or uh, the battery will last up to 10 hours and then if you plug in a power companion as well the Dell power companion that will push up to 24 24 hours battery life so this is like a, a hybrid between, it's the best of both worlds really, it's tablet based technology and all the power savings and fanless design, zero moving parts of a tablet but the benefit of having a bigger screen and being in a clamshell footprint. So very nice device, I love this. So CPUs wise it comes in the new um, Skylake M5 or M7, so it does use the mobile CPUs and for business use they're more than, more than adequate. Because applications, demands on machines, hasn't outgrown the CPU you know, ability of machines. So what I mean by that is Intel and, and other vendors keep bringing out CPUs, um, new CPUs, yet they are far more performant than, than the applications need. So because of this, we know for business use that the M5 and M7 will be more than adequate so the type of user 
that would generally use this device would be someone who needs to be out of the office a lot <clears throat> so probably 80% of the time out of the office probably 20% of the time in the office <clears throat> needs an ultralight portable device which is going to give them maximum productivity so it means they can be away from it being plugged in for as long as possible and with a 10 hour battery life that gives that ability you know tech leaders so maybe lifestyle companies boutiques people who want to uh, project the image of the company and to do that using IT as well you know so you know you could have anything <clears throat> from state agents um, to large corporates you know the managers could have these devices and um, external salespeople so it's really anything anyone that's um, client facing that goes out to see their their customer base <clears throat> it's business class because we do the highest level of military testing so you know there's YouTube videos where you can see the kind of testing we do so the cases are open and shut a lot of times the screens are twisted and bent the keys are depressed they're vibrated so we know that <clears throat> when you buy a Dell device it's going to work as well in two three years time as it did on day one Locking capabilities um, it's pretty flexible so as I mentioned it's got the USB type C connects on the side so you can use a USB type C dock to charge and transfer all your data video um, monitor keyboard all that kind of good stuff also supports the high performance Thunderbolt um, if you needed to drive more bigger screens uh, from the device and also supports the uh, Ouija which is basically the wireless docking technology so you can actually bring this put it down on your desk and wirelessly project to your monitor keyboard mouse things like that okay so from a point of view of where this fits like I said before this device is a business class device it's for users that want the longest battery life possible because tablets you still have a reduction you know in the amount of a battery size of battery that can be in there, the performance uh, and longevity you get so it's the best of the tablet world with the sealed unit using the mobile processors meeting the ultrabook world with it still being a traditional clamshell design I run Nova Bench tests on all the equipment I get just to see how this score fares because I run it three times and I keep the, the average score from the three okay from the three tests so if I open the Nova test I ran <coughs> earlier so this device scored 631 points average of the three tests okay it never really varies too much you know you're talking a couple of points here and there so if we compare the generation 6 m5 processor this lowly 1.1 gigahertz this <coughs> is actually only nine points behind the e7250 so that's the um, previous generation fifth generation intel cpu so that's a 12 inch ultrabook with 8 gig of ram and running an i5 2.3 gigahertz processor 5500 graphics and a 240 gig ssd that device scored 640 points and it scored 631 okay so this is much lighter much more portable much longer battery life than the uh, e7250 yet you're getting comparable performance and as i said applications you know gone are the days of applications suddenly you bring a new version of office out and you need an extra gig of ram or a more powerful CPU. So I know we're comparing generation six CPU to, to generation five. However, as I said, the mobile processors are so powerful that gone are the days where you need to necessarily have an i5 and an i7. I know that's a traditional way of thinking, but for this device and how this is used, you know, you don't really need to need the i5 or i7, <clears throat> the extra cost and the extra power draw, because these start sub um, a thousand pounds so great device as I mentioned no moving parts whatsoever 100% silent you know obviously the problem with having fans is if you block those vents you know overheats can damage the components there's no risk of blocking the vents if you're in a quiet environment there's zero noise to this I mean some of the competitors against this have got two fans so it's a lot of moving parts things degradate over time because you're going to get dust and dirt within those fans you then got obviously more moving parts to fail so from a business point of view this is very well designed you, you expect it to load i'd be worried if any of these had any lag with with loading up you know you expect it to be instant um let me do the usual go to a youtube load up a video so the screen you might not see it on the video it, it's bright 
and it's got an anti-glare coating so whilst it's bright it does scream the viewing angles are pretty pretty good and again that might not show up particularly well on the uh, you know on the uh, on the camera so you know we're into YouTube now so Captain America Civil War trailer I've got it on mute at the minute there is audio Mute the audio. It's a small device. The sound is pretty, uh, pretty loud. The speakers are hidden away from inside the device. Just mute that again. So again, as I mentioned, the backlit keyboard, you can change the brightness or turn it off if you want, save more battery. And it doesn't draw a lock, so they're obviously LED based. Um, you know, so high performing, well made, solid device, business class use, ultra portable, um, I mentioned ultra thin. And then from the point of viewing angles, which I haven't really covered, it'll go 100% flat to the desk. If you wanted it to go that far, and um, again, because of the build quality, it'll actually just go slightly beyond fully flat. And look at that, I'm bending that, and it's not snapping. You know, these things are very well made, especially compared to competition. You do that with some of the competition, and uh, yeah, you're going to have a, a mess on your table. So there you go, that was my review of the Dell Latitude 7370, also known as the Latitude 13, full business class device. If you've got any questions about the device, anything I've not really covered, feel free to contact me.